I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead, author of the book Freedom from Suffering, A Journey of Hope, and developer of the addiction-free pain management system. It's important I talk about that today because the ongoing problem of mismanaged chronic pain is growing alarmingly. There's two major ends to this problem spectrum. On one end of the spectrum are people who are being over-medicated with prescription medications, especially the opiates and benzodiazepines. People are dying. I was recently notified last week about a program in Southern California that yet again have experienced two patients dying from a prescription medication overdose when they were there on an inpatient pain management protocol. I've also seen the other end of the spectrum though. The other end of the spectrum are people who have been taking pain medications appropriately as prescribed for several years and all of a sudden their treatment provider is running scared because of all the publicity they're seeing about other health care providers being targeted by the Drug Enforcement Agency. And many of these people are facing criminal charges and losing their medical license. When this happens, these people are now left out in the cold, literally. They're being told that I cannot prescribe for you anymore, you're going to have to find somebody else. And what a challenge that is, because nobody wants to take it on today. Many of these people have to go through an inhumane withdrawal syndrome and really suffer. And then they have their ongoing pain condition and they don't know what to do. People are getting so depressed there's been suicides because of this. Why aren't we finding the middle ground? Last week, the New York Times had an article out that was talking about how the workers' comp system is now growing concerned that many of the comp patients become addicted to the opiate pain medication, and they were now saying, in retrospect, we wish we would have authorized more non-medication-based interventions like physical therapy and hydrotherapy, pain management intervention procedures and protocols that may have stopped some of this problem. It's not too late. We need to all get involved. We need to reach out and educate ourselves and educate our patients and educate our colleagues that we need to find a multidisciplinary approach for chronic pain management. Many of people that are on chronic opioids for a long period of time develop opiate-induced hyperalgesia. This is a hypersensitivity to pain signals, put it simply. It's much more complex than that, but that's putting it simply. We need to educate the public. We need to educate ourselves. We need to form a s strong summit to come together and talk about these problems, and most importantly, not to complain, but to find a way to move out of the problem into the solution. To that end, I'm going to be setting up a one-day summit here in Sacramento and inviting my pain management, mental health, and addiction colleagues to come and work with me to see if we can put together a solution for this overwhelming problem. I believe that freedom from suffering is everybody's right but it's also their responsibility. And it's our responsibility as healthcare providers to educate people how to get their needs met more effectively. Thank you.